the first step in the wrap framework is W, widen your options. Now this is one of those things that is super simple, is very easy to understand, is very easy to explain. But the challenge is in the application and in recognizing when this applies. See, a lot of us, we have a tendency to paint ourselves into a corner, give ourselves a false choice of either or, when in reality we should be doing both. Someone that I follow and admire, Ramit Sethi, he always gives this example of a college who in their FAQ, they say, students will ask us, should I take an honors class and make a B, or should I take a regular class and make an A? And in their answer, they say, well, most of our students take the honors class and they find a way to make an A. And so we understand that concept, but we put ourselves in this corner all the time. So someone might say, for example, I want to become a project manager. Should I spend more time trying to get experience or should I spend more time trying to study for the exam and, and prepare? And the answer is, well, actually, you need to be doing both. Someone asked me, well, should I focus on building up my LinkedIn profile or should I focus on making a resume? And again, the answer is do both. We find this example a lot with people that are starting college. And so someone might say, okay, do I take out a student loan for $50,000 or do I just not go to college? And so they struggle with this decision because that's a lot of money, it's a huge loan. Do I do that or do I just not go to school and maybe not set myself up properly? And we realize that that's actually a false choice. There's a lot more options. Could you save money by going to community college for two years first? Have you spent any significant amount of time applying for scholarships? Have you looked at maybe graduating in six years instead of four years and working part-time to pay for part of your school? Maybe there's a way between working and scholarships to take less of a student loan. Maybe going to a public university would lower my tuition but still allow me to get that education. There's a whole host of options, but when we put ourselves into this either-or thinking, we limit what we're able to do and so because of that we end up making a bad decision so to avoid that narrow framing to avoid that either or mentality always look at is there a way to do both and what are the other options on the table that i'm not considering